And now it's time to fight the fourth boss. This one is called the Scale. Um, he's probably got the least interesting level. <laughs> I don't know. His fight's pretty fun, but in terms of just like the place you walk through, it, it's a sewer and a swamp. His music ain't bad though. Take a good look, my friend. I can't. Years of evolution, culture, civilization, great intellect, wonders of nature. Bam! Wiped out in one single impact. One. Flowers are kind of nice, though. It reminds me of, uh, what was it, Shrine of Amana in Dark Souls 2? A solution, an answer, anything. Just some hope, you know, that I could fix this, fix him, so my plan would be flawless. But I never found a thing. depressing sure I could have stopped rolled up in a ball and cried for the rest of my days and left you frying on your rock but I didn't basically he's telling you right now that you, you did all this shit to the world stuff and what I've seen well and he didn't find a way to cure the problems you caused but we have one at this point he's just common, you so sick of it he's just gonna we let you out anyway to lose for every day we are locked away up here we have nothing we've lost one thing about fish face up there you know he got um Contaminated. I'm not sure he's got much to say. He probably can't even speak at all anymore. But if he does, just ignore the crazy babble. Basically, you're blighting everywhere you're going. So this guy is someone who's got fucked up with whatever you did that's made a place look like this. And he probably really wants you dead. Fight's got some cool shit going on in it, too. I really like this guy's design. And his cool kind of floaty posing kind of shit he does. So, the main gimmick in this boss's fight is that if you get hit by any of his projectiles, your vision starts to blur. Which makes it harder to dodge other projectiles because they seem to kind of smear out. I'm not perfect. You're going to see me get hit and you'll see how that works. He has a lot of these straight line attacks um he does like underwater diving kind of motions like grabs on you he does these really cool uh cone like unblockables really cool looking and this is the first boss where i think you pretty much need to use your supercharged dash to get in actual hits on him and you'll see where i'm going obviously in a minute you condemn me
So, when he sends these out, they're going in... Those ones are going in circles. And then the larger ones, they're going in semi-circles. That way you just logically think about how you're reading that when they're coming at you so you don't get hit by one on the return. Like, these ones come in semi-circles. You see, they actually complete semi-circles. They go halfway through each other. So if you do that, you can avoid getting hit by it. You got these split ones. They're really cool looking. Actually, I really like the music here, too. This is a cool fight. It's better than I remembered. There's one part I do not like, but, um... In the round I win, I kind of walk out against it. See? Your vision starts to get blurred. You get hit. It's a lot worse during his final attack, that's for sure. Now you can see a trail of, uh... Circles coming out of him. But it's pretty easy to block his rise-up attack. Be prepared for a lot of those waves. Those, um... Those wall waves that get sent out. It'll be the bane of your existence certain, sometimes when you fight him. He's gonna go for a grab attack after he's down for a long time. For some reason, I have a lot of trouble uh, getting the analog sticks on that attack to work. Yeah, don't expect full combo counters on those little out of the water attacks you parry. Yeah, you can get like two hits on him. get put into the corner when you're fighting him when he's doing these attacks because you can get stuck in a spot where you can't dodge. I'm thinking it might have been better to try to do stun attacks on him after that. Instead of two hits. I can restock you. Let me free you. Kill. Yep, nothing like attacks you can't get out of. Very much a, a battle of chip damage. This guy looks like he could be like. Poses are pretty fantastic. He's got style for a crazy madman. 
contaminated bio fish freak. Your massive fire and void shattered my world. There's a perfect counter. things are going to get pretty goddamn hard. Um, basically, you're kind of restricted using your gun for this phase. There's a couple of combos you can try to block and get, but because of all the rays he's shooting out, you're going to be doing a lot of shooting here. The thing is, if you don't do it fast enough, he's going to go into an attack that really, 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 really can suck. Um, in fact, I think it's probably one of the hardest things in the game to dodge from when I was playing. Basically, what he'll do is he'll split into six. There are two different attacks these things can do. What you're seeing here is um, the one where you've been blessed by fortune. Basically, you have to destroy these guys where they're going to keep using the attacks and intersecting them with each other. Now, there's another version of that attack they can do where they're doing the wall waves. And they all are doing them. And it, and I'm sorry, but you're going to get a lot of damage when they're all doing them at once. Because there aren't places to actually go to get out of the attack range if you don't kill them quick enough. And even if you're concentrating, you kill one. And there's five of these concentric rings coming out at once with very tiny little gaps in them. You're going to get hit. But it doesn't matter. We're out of that phase. Actually, this phase can do it, too. Now, here's what happens when you get really blurry. See how the bullets kind of... Like, it actually becomes harder to dodge. I'm sort of tripping over myself because so much stuff is happening right now, but... But, yeah. Bullets become way harder to dodge once you start getting hit. Because it builds up, too, if you get hit twice. Now you're going to use your charge to do the last part of his combos here, basically. It looks really cool, like, it moves really fast in this short range of phase. He mixes, he does a lot of cool mix-ups here. Desperation attack time. This is a pretty good desperation attack because of the like bl screen bleeding properties he gets. You can see what hap what's going to happen if I get hit at this point. It's going to be almost impossible to tell where the bullets actually are. See? Look at that stuff. Isn't that awesome? me the first Hurt. time. Abandoned. Betrayed. Hurt. Hurt. You. Yeah, he's lost it. But I'm not gonna lose it. Man, this is so cool looking.
Those little squares make it very hard to dodge those attacks. You can't, you gotta be dashing from the extremes. Now get him, get him, get him. You don't wanna get hit by a melee attack after all that. And that's the scale. Share his fate, or will life take an unexpected turn? Hope comes from the strangest places. Mm hmm. So obviously, Rabbit Head here is hoping that our main I've character had a change for so of long. personality. Destruction of the world on one hand, but on the other, what about my world? Why should their world be more valuable than mine? I made my decision. I will free myself. Whatever the cost. Basically, he's ready to see the world get destroyed as long as he gets to take a step out into it. 